Hello and welcome to another Leica review. Today I want to talk about the Leica Q Mark II. Of course it has not been announced, it has not been even talked about. It is not even rumored and this is something that the Leica has been very keen on keeping under the lid. In fact their latest announcement of Leica TL2 which was not even mentioned is one of the indications that the company is being very secretive about its production of new cameras and lenses. So what shall we expect in the Leica Q2? Well, first of all, let's look at what the Leica Q was and how it developed in time. As you may remember, Leica Q was launched on June 10, 2015. At the time, it was a very compact, very beautiful camera and it featured 24 megapixels. It featured a lot of the things that today will be fine in other cameras. Yet the times have moved on and a lot of competition has been mounted on the Leica Q, especially from, like, uh, from cameras that are, for example, produced by Sony and Panasonic. Of course, to stay afloat and to have the, these Leica Q camera be on top of the game, they need to produce cameras that are still very very productive very very good in terms of quality and this is the reason we should be expecting a Leica Q very soon as you may remember Leica Q featured Leica's Maestro 2 image processor and a 24.2 megapixel sensor so it is their latest chip now image processor wise Maestro 2 is their latest and I don't expect it to be upgraded anytime soon, but the full frame sensor that it has only has 24 megapixels. We would probably see a 36 megapixel sensor for this camera. I believe that this camera in itself will also feature a 4K recording capabilities that will make this camera very competitive for anyone who wants to use it for multi-purpose use. For example, vlogging, or capturing images while they're traveling. In fact, one of the main improvements that we might see is this also light gathering capabilities. The previous version had only 50,000 ISO and 10 frames of shooting. Now it could go up to over 100,000 ISO and that would mean that it will perform far better in low light circumstances. I'm expecting the processor to be able to deliver images while well about 3200 with much much more sharpness and detail and a lot less noise and that is one of the reasons i feel that it is important to see this camera as an investment that will be in the market for quite some time probably over another two to three year period this camera could be a market leader in terms of full frame, in terms of the quality. If you do remember, it has a 28 millimeter lens at f1.7. Now this lens will probably will remain in the camera as it is because it is something that they have started with and it's a very fast lens delivering very good accurate photographs, especially if you look at it from the perspective of being a Leica lens, it has beautiful warm colors natural skin tones and it makes the quite a good reliable investment yet the market for Leica Q is dwindling quite rapidly with the competition coming up with different different types of cameras and lenses so we are seeing cameras that are being produced from Sony that has almost 42 megapixels so that is a fierce competition and also they are using Zeiss lenses. Zeiss lenses is also a very good uh, lenses that are used in the cinema world, also in the also in the photography world. So in that respect, they are providing a lot of competition. Beyond that, I think that the camera in itself is rather highly priced at 4250. Now, if you look at the price of this camera, you could get a Sony A9, which delivers quite considerable. Uh, performance for about the same price the 20 frames per shooting and different options like the 4k video capabilities it is for this very reason I feel that the Leica Q2 should be in the pipeline and it should be coming out sometime in the fall or the early part of 2018 
as far as design and styling i think there's going to be almost no changes the body in itself will remain as as it was originally launched and it will remain as a compact well-designed camera i think that the size should be smaller but like like will not change that in fact their like m10 uh, should have been a lot smaller than the m240 or the m9 because of of the deletion of videos capabilities from the camera similarly like q even though this is a rather large camera for a compact camera it still does not have the 4k so 4k will be incorporated 36 megapixels the master 2 processor will continue to be used and we will have a higher iso so we should be able to get much more detailed images also one of the improvements that we will see is the use of the ush2 cards which require which is required for filming 4k and being able to process much more data and that is one of the things that will make like eq stand out among its competitors of course the pricing will probably be a little higher I'm expecting it to be $4,850 or $4,900 level, uh, so that this will be in there. And also the Like UQ price will probably drop to around $4,000. And in the, in the aftermarket, we could probably see in the gray market to, to be around $3,800. So there's going to be a $600 price drop if the new camera comes out. But I think what is important is to notice that this camera could be had as a at a bargain if you are in the market to look for a like a q camera similarly if you have the budget and you've been waiting on the sideline to purchase a camera that is compact from the leica lineup this like a q2 will be the camera to look for in the market so i hope you have enjoyed this review and look forward to seeing you in our next review thank you for watching